are the Daily Tech Headlines for Wednesday, May 22nd, 2024. I'm Sarah Lane. Bloomberg is reporting that AI pin maker Humane is looking for a potential buyer for its business. That is, if the buyer has something between $750 million or $1 billion. The $700 AI pin was widely panned by early reviewers for being slow, clunky, and needing a monthly subscription to keep the device active. Humane previously raised $230 million from investors, including OpenAI CEO Sam Altman. CNBC sources say that Amazon's voice assistant, you know her name, I will not say it now, is getting a more conversational upgrade later this year. However, the company is also planning to charge a monthly subscription fee to offset the cost of the technology. This reportedly would not be part of Amazon's already $139 per year dollar prime offering, but the service price point hasn't been nailed down. In other Amazon news, the company's cloud computing unit Amazon Web Services, or AWS, is also set to invest 15.7 billion euros in data centers in Spain's northeastern Aragon region. Aragon government officials said in a separate statement it would be a 10-year investment in the region, which is already a hub for Amazon in Spain, and called the move, quote, the largest technology investment in Spain and southern Europe, end quote. Amazon previously invested 2.5 billion euros into Spain back in 2021 and is predicting 17,500 new jobs in local companies per year through 2033. Back in April, Google announced it would be making its Magic Editor and other AI-powered tools free for all Google Photos, Android, and iOS users. Pixel 8 and 8 Pro owners now have Magic Editor to move, resize, or erase parts of a photo, as well as apply contextual presets. Sky, Golden Hour, Stylized. You can also tap Circle and Brush to select. You can zoom to more specifically select something. And Google Photos for Android and iOS users will get 10 Magic Editor library saves per month. If you're a Google One Premium, two plus terabytes per month plan, you have more, or you could just be a Pixel user. The EU Council has approved the EU AI Act, which means it will come into effect 20 days after getting published in the EU official journal. That should happen in the next couple of days. The act bans behavioral manipulation and things like social scoring. It's also regulating high-risk uses like biometrics and facial recognition, although it doesn't outright ban either of those. AI app developers will have to register their systems and meet risk and quality management obligations. Chatbots like ChatGPT are considered lighter risk and thus have fewer obligations. Meanwhile, the second AI summit held in Seoul issued the sole declaration to pursue safety, inclusiveness, innovation, and interoperation in AI uses. Spotify is going to look a little different starting today. Spotify Mix, the company's new typeface, is replacing the circular typeface variant that Spotify has used across its app and desktop experiences up until this point. Spotify Mix was developed along with Berlin-based foundry DMO typefaces, and Spotify says the new variable font design is quite literally a remix, born from merging elements from a variety of different typeface styles. Volvo and autonomous driving company Aurora have announced their first production-ready self-driving truck based on Volvo's Class 8 semi-truck, the VNL. It runs on Aurora's Level 4 autonomous system. That means that the truck can operate without a human driving it. The truck also will be built in Volvo's Dublin, Virginia plant. The company plans to deploy 10 of the trucks this year, expanding to 100 in 2025. The UK Information Commissioner's Office, or ICO, is making inquiries with Microsoft about its new recall feature for Copilot Plus PCs. The ICO wants to understand the safeguards in place to protect user privacy. Recall can log all of your activity and then use the Copilot model to return answers about things that you've done. For example, what was agreed to in a meeting, a recipe you may have looked for, or directions to an upcoming event. Recall data is stored on the PC. It's on device, not in the cloud. It's also encrypted and can only be accessed by the person whose profile was used to sign into the computer. And finally, iOS and iPadOS 17.5.1 contain a fix for a bug that caused some users to see deleted photos reappear in their library. The bug fix notes that the photos reappeared because of database corruption. Ars Technica explains, 
it appears they were moved to a 30-day grace period section in case of undelete, and because of the corruption, were never properly deleted. For more discussion of the tech news of the day, subscribe to dailytechnewsshow.com. That's where you can find show notes and links to all headlines there as well. I'm Sarah Lane. Thank you for listening, and we will talk to you next time.